we're going from here? From here, and then just put it right up there. Yeah. What was that crazy crap? It was me dropping my phone down real quick to move this gorgeous block of Oscar's uh, 289 Hypo for a 67 Shelby. Joe just looked at it and said, this is the nicest looking block I've ever seen in, in the, as long as he's been working. And I was like, that's good to hear because he's been working for a very long time. Um, Oscar, we're not a fan of your uh, little tiny engine stand. So that can go back with the uh, dolly. <laughs> uh, we are now commencing on putting this baby back together. You guys are going to get to see uh, Joe uh, uh, build from the inside out a 289 uh, Hypo engine for a 67 GT350. This is a special video series, guys. Get ready. Here we go. And this is a view of the block. That's, that's the thing we don't like. Um, not, not the block, but the uh, engine stand. Too small for us. So here's the block in detail about to be commenced upon. This was blue and it had paint scratching off it, guys. We hot tanked it <clears throat> and then we airless cleaned it. We're going to airless clean all of our blocks now. Um, these are both 289s that have been um, that have been uh, sleeved, and we like this part. These are hot tanked, and that's the result you get out of hot tanking. So you can see why I recommended taking care of it because. Look at the result you get with the airless cleaning. So we're very pleased with it. So get ready. This is part one of a video series of building a 289 Hypo Ford motor matching numbers for a 67 GT350. Special project. And another example of that you see everything at Mustang Medic. Okay, and this is where Oscar's engine is going to be going. Yeah, this is Bob's 351 Windsor. And uh, we just a little couple detail shots. That's the engine run stand it's going to be on. And Oscar also gave us approval on his um, preparation for his C4 casing. So that's coming up shortly.